What's going on, everybody? I'm Scars Leon, as always, and we're here with another Minecraft mod spotlight. This one is called Linking Books. Uh, it's a very simple mod and would work with a bunch of other mods, but I'll explain how in a second. What this mod does is it allows you to teleport between dimensions of your own choosing. What I mean is, it allows you to uh, create books and, well, you know what, let me just grab them. I don't have a book. What you can create now is called a linking book. And when you make a blank linking book, and then you right click in either the overworld, nether world, the nether, or the end, you create a teleport point uh, that that book will take you to. Now, books are one use only if you use it from your inventory. However, you can create a lectern or a, um, a linking portal, and that way you'd be use it as many times as you want. Like right now, I have uh, my overworld uh, book, uh, just for to showcase and this is the lectern. This is a marker, but first the lectern uh, You can place a book on there and then it'll allow you to teleport to that point But it's a one-way trip only. So if you want to come back to your house mine Whatever wherever you want to return to like your uh, next your base hub essentially bring always have a linking book with your uh, return point with you at all times that way when you're done with wherever you teleported to or you need to return for whatever reason you can quick come back and then you can create another blank book and then head right back so to create a blank linking book you need a linking panel and basically all that is is eight pieces of paper with a black dye in the middle because ink and that gives you a link panel this by itself has no purpose i you can't use it by itself and then all you do, you take whatever die you want, uh, a leather, piece of leather, and then a linking panel, and you get a linking book. So, once you have your linking book, you can now create a lectern to place it on. And to create a lectern, you need three oak, four, three oak slab, one bookshelf, and then another oak slab on top, and you get your linking lectern uh, this mod also adds in a couple new items too such as a marker what this marker does is it creates out the back hold on uh, let me just steal this one and I'll steal this, 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 this. I remember to return it later what this marker does is it can receive a red it can receive redstone or which I don't know why it really doesn't do too much if it receives redstone. But the coolest thing is, is that it puts out two separate um, redstone signals. It puts out a weak and a strong. I'm not quite sure which one is which. I haven't experimented that much with it. But it puts out two, so you can have, using one switch, two outputs... Uh, to help create whatever it is that you're trying to create using redstone and It also can go through one uh, solid block Let's grab uh, Polished granite sure so boom and then Boom see it can go through a solid block so you can have um, in your house um showcase whatever it is you're making for whatever it is you're making it for you can have uh, this in the corner of your wall you can activate it and then they will never be able to see any redstone um, being activated because this nicely hides it you don't have to have like the weird old um, empty spot like trying to hide the redstone it goes right through the wall so that way you don't have to worry about 
um, trying to make things look as pretty as possible while hiding redstone. So let's reach out on that because we'll need that. Now, to create linking portals, you need what is called Nara and a link translator. Now, they aren't the easiest things. Well, uh, the Nara isn't too hard to make because all you need is lava. Because you need eight cobblestone in this configuration here. And then you and a bucket of lava and you get a Nara. Well, actually, uh, and then the link translator uh, can get pretty expensive because you need iron and you lose your bucket. You need seven Nara, which takes seven buckets, which takes about 21 iron, and one piece of redstone, which is, if you can't find it, it's not a total loss. And then you get a link translator. All this does is creates a portal for you to walk through, so you don't have to right-click anything. Now, you can just take to wherever it is you want to teleport to, Create a lectern there, and that way you can just right click and click back, and you don't use up your books. That's not the hardest, it's not much of an inconvenience. But, however, you can create these fancy little portals with your books in it, and you just walk right on through, and bam, you're in the nether. Or, if we walk back through, Teleports me back to that space, and this also works in the end. So, if you find that you are um, a bit overwhelmed or you're running low on supplies in the end, you're able to come go back to the overworld, gather your supplies, and then head right on back into the end. Instead of having to die, trek all the way back to find the end portal, you have a really nice handy dandy little um, return point. And again, the portals are literally just to make it, make it a little bit easier to... Um, so you just have to walk through. There's no clicking in case you're... Especially in case if you're on the run and you just want to run right through. I don't think other mobs can go through. But if they can, oh, you can just block off your portals. But it makes for a much quicker getaway than having to click into your uh, book. Now, the cool thing about this mod is that it would be able to be used with other mods that add in new dimensions. Uh, like uh, the Bumble, Bumble World, Bumblebee Dimension, or uh, say, like a Heaven Dimension or nightmare dimension or a slime dimension whatever uh because this mod just teleports you between dimensions it's not gonna conflict with those other mods so if you're looking to really heavily mod the hell out of your minecraft and you're looking and you find good spawn points in or good spots in each of the each of those worlds um, this would be a really good mod to keep track and make it easier to get to those worlds. Because you can literally, like, I just have a small little one for proof of concept. But you can literally have a nice circular room, a lectern in the middle for your, uh, just to make it look cool. Make it look like a wizard's nexus. But you can literally have a nexus. You can literally sit here in the middle, figure out, oh, do I want to go to that dimension, that dimension, that dimension, that dimension, that dimension, that dimension. Oh, we'll pick this one, go right on through, and then spawn right back on top in the middle. It'd be a really cool... Uh, this would be a really fantastic addition to uh, a mod pack that has a bunch of dimension mods in it. Because it would really help with, um, like I said, just traveling between dimensions without having to do any janky stuff like you usually have to uh, with going to different dimensions. Like the Bumblebee dimension that I did forever ago. Uh, you have to find a, a 
beehive and you gotta click on it and you gotta actually traverse through it but if you find a good spot in it that way you'd be able to go through it uh with the nether you know you gotta create a nether portal you gotta light it on fire you gotta walk on through and then you gotta go through the trouble of finding nether fortresses and all that this is this nether uh seed was horrible it legitimately took me an hour to find the fortress. The, my my spawn point in the nether was dreadful. So that um, linking portal helps me out because I have it set up to right next to the nether fortress. That skeleton just jumped into the end. But, and also, you know, if you go to the end, you got to find the stronghold and all that. You got to activate it. And then you go all the way to the end of high... You're, you're stuck here. I'm sorry. All your friends are gone. And then, you know what? I find, you know, I don't have enough items. I ran out of arrows too fast. I can just real quick, boop, right back, and then I can go right on back. And then, of course, the other one is my uh, nether fortress portal. And these can be any shape and size, too. Like, those portals can be any size. As long as it is made of Nara and uses the Link Translator, uh, it will activate. Because I have a very 1x2 portal here. And then on the other side, I have a nice 2x2. Two two. Uh, same with the, the end one. It's a 1x2 here, 2x1. I'm not sure. And the other end is a 2x2. Two uh, be sure to check this out. This is a really cool mod. Very easy to put together. And like I said, uh, mixed with a bunch of other dimensional mods. This would be a really cool and um, easy way to um, get between dimensions without having to go through the standard way of getting to those dimensions. Like creating a bunch of new portals and stuff like that. All of it would be, you just have to create it once. And then you would just have to uh, create your books and you would have a much easier way to create a nexus instead of having a bunch of like different looking portals like an obsidian portal or say a and a wood portal and like a diamond portal for some reason and a gold portal. You would have nice, e nice consistent looking portals and it it would just be a really cool way to bring a bunch of dimension mods together also if you don't even want to do that it's a great way to teleport between the nether the end and the overworld and then you have this cool little marker marker switch that works through walls and would really bring together a bunch of red stu redstone contraptions and uh, help with hiding a lot of redstone so thank you all so much for watching hit that like and subscribe button or even share uh, help the channel grow that way I can provide more content for you guys and uh, I hope to see you next time so have a great day everybody